Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Python on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Python. And the first link which will appear here will be from python.org. So we are going to click on this link. And once this link opens, you will be uh, able to see straight away uh, this downloads uh, section here. And when you uh, scroll down also, you will be able to see this uh, download section here also. Now at the time of making this video, Python 3.8.2 is the latest version of Python. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on the downloads uh, tab here. And once I click on the downloads tab, I see uh, this uh, button which says download Python 3.8.2. So I'm going to just click on this uh, button which is going to start the download of this python 3.8.2.exe file and once this exe file is downloaded i'm going to just click on this file and i'm going to minimize the browser so let me minimize the browser first of all and here you will be able to see the python installer so now you will be able to see this option which says install now and also second option is customize installation so by default, you can see a Python will be installed at this location, which is a bit weird for me. So what I always do is I always like to uh, use this option, which says customize installation. But before this, you uh, might also want to add the Python to the environment variables. And for that, you need to check this checkbox. So make sure that you have checked this Python 3.8 to path uh, checkbox and then click on customize installation. Now here I will leave everything as default and then click on next. And here this is what I wanted to change. So this location I want to change it to a, a shorter location which I can uh, remember easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my C directory and then I'm going to click OK here. And in my C directory, I'm going to create a Python directory. So I'm going to just write uh, Python here. So what I generally like to do is I generally like to uh, just give backslash here and then once again Python and then the version of Python is 3.8.2. So I'm going to just write 3.8.2 here. Okay. But the choice is yours. You can uh, name this folder anything. I just prefer uh, it like this so that I uh, know which version of Python is installed in which folder. Okay. So once you do that, you can also uh, check these options, pre-compiled standard libraries, download debugging symbols and download debugging binaries. And here I'm going to check this option which says install for all users which will automatically uh, check this option which says pre-compiled standard libraries and then I'm going to just click on install button. Now in the next step, I'm going to just click on yes here, which is going to start the installation of Python on your Windows operating system. So the installation process is pretty straightforward. You just need to wait for the installation to complete. And after some time, I can see this message which says setup was successful. And I can see this warning also, which says disable path uh, length limit. I can uh, just click on this option also here and then click on yes, which is going to just disable that option. And now our installation is finished. So I'm going to just click on close button here. And once you have installed Python on your Windows operating system, when you click on your Windows start menu, you will be able to see uh, under recently added uh, section, the Python uh, module docs. You will be able to see the idle IDE, which is the IDE, which comes with the Python installation. You will also see the Python manuals. And when you expand this, you will see the Python uh, terminal. So these four are the most uh, important uh, tools which are installed at the time of uh, Python installation on your Windows operating system. So first of all, we will start with the idle IDE. So just click on idle. And once you click on this idle uh, option, you will be able to see uh, this kind of uh, window here. So once your idle IDE opens, 
what I want to do first of all is I want to increase the font size because the font size is really small for the video at least. So for that I'm going to just click on options and then click on uh, configure idle. And once uh, I click on configure idle, I will be able to see all those uh, font related settings and other settings also. So I can uh, see that the font size right now is 10. So I will make it around 16, let's say, or let's make it a little bit more bigger, let's say 18, and then click on apply. I can also make those font uh, bold. So I'll just check the bold option and then click on apply so I will be able to see it in a better way and then click on OK. So now font size is uh, OK. So now let's print something. So I'm going to just write print here and in the brackets I'm going to just print hello world. So let's uh, print hello world here and then I'm going to just uh, press enter and it's going to print hello world. So this is uh, how you can use idle IDE. If you want to uh, create a new file, you can just click on uh, file and then new file and it's going to create a new file for you. So let's create a new file in idle and then let's just write uh, print and then let's uh, write hello world once again. So I'm going to just write hello world here then you can just click on run option and then click on run module but before that you need to save this file so file and then just click on save name your file and location so i'm going to just save this file on the desktop and now i'm going to just name this file as hello.py file and then press enter and once you have saved this file you can just click on run and then click on run module or you can click on f5 which is going to run your file and uh, show you the output in this window. So this is how you can use the idle IDE. As you can see uh, in the start menu once again, uh, Python comes also with the Python terminal. So I'm going to just click on the Python terminal option now. And here once again, you can uh, change the font size by just going to the properties here and then uh, increase the font size to let's say 20 and then click on OK. And now I'm going to just uh, print hello world here also. So I'm going to just write print and then in the brackets just write hello world and then close this parenthesis and then press enter which is going to print hello world. So this is also working. So if you want to uh, use the Python terminal use this one or if you want to use the idle IDE, you can use uh, the idle IDE also. Now let's check whether a Python command is working on our command line or not. So I'm going to just write CMD in the search bar and then open the command prompt. And once I do that, I'm going to just write Python hyphen hyphen version here and then press enter. And straight away you will see that Python 3.8.2 is the version uh, which is installed. Also Python comes with the pip package manager. So you can also check uh, pip hyphen hyphen uh, version here and then press enter. And once you do that, you will be able to see uh, the version of pip which is installed on your Windows operating system. So pip is, as I said, a Python package manager. This will, you will use whenever you want to use some external libraries which are available uh, freely on uh, Python. And here also I can uh, just write uh, Python command and then press enter, which is going to uh, open the Python shell on my command prompt. And then here I can uh, just use uh, this uh, command prompt, which is the Windows command prompt as a normal Python uh, shell, okay? So once again, hello world and then press enter and it gives the same output to us. So you have these three options, whatever you want to choose, you can choose out of these three options to work with Python on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.